Well, just over six months ago, a new generation of weather satellite was put into orbit. Called GOES-R at launch and now named GOES-16, it has cutting-edge sensors that will eventually replace the 1970s technology we use today. Last Friday, the keys to the satellite were passed from the NASA team that launched it to the NOAA team that will use it day to day. But as Mike Augustinak tells us, GOES-16 still has some final exams to pass before it goes live. When you have a brand new satellite series, you've really got to check out all that data very carefully and ensure that it's of the quality and accuracy that we want. Acting Satellite Program Director Mike Stringer knows that in the world of satellite meteorology, there are no second chances. The instruments on GOES-16 are flying 22,000 miles above us and are replacing the 1970s technology on board our current fleet of satellites. But they've never been tested in space before. We had a field campaign that we did with a, a high-flying aircraft, also comparing to other satellites, as well as other ground systems. The data the satellite sees from high above had better match what our proven instruments are showing. Blurred vision from space could lead forecasters astray. So were there any surprises along the way, good or bad, with how this satellite's been operating so far? I'm just amazed and surprised at how clear the images are. It's like watching what was happening to watching what is happening. So they can see those storms, they can see as the storm starts to really develop and really get energized, and they can get out those alerts and warnings much quicker. The Geostationary Lightning Mapper, or GLM, gives us the ability to see lightning happen in real time anywhere over our hemisphere, including over oceans where flights and ships have no place to hide. We get uh, a picture of what's going on in the storm and how much it's intensifying. So when we see that intensification, we know that there's a high probability that that storm cell that's intensifying like that will produce severe weather. GOES-16 will also keep an eye on space weather. Part of the electrical grid was knocked out by a, by a major solar storm. So that's a possibility. The airlines, they're worried about their air traffic control systems. Mike Augustinak, WCCO 4 News. On average, there are 10 separate billion-dollar weather events each year. There are three more satellites in the same series that will be launched in the coming years. The next one will go into orbit in spring of 2018 and be live beginning next fall. We do have video from the GOES-16 launch posted at WCCO.com. Well,